Hey, how's it doing? Um, it's Roger here. We're talking about why do people really use drugs and alcohol? Now, normally I do this on my other page, The Roger Show, but I just thought I'd try it on my main profile today. And I'm going to go into why, why, why do we really use drugs and alcohol? Why do we really drink red wine, white wine, whiskey, beer? Why do people use heroin, marijuana, crack, cocaine, all that kind of stuff? Why do we really use it? You know, why do we really use that stuff? Now, I'm not judging why anyone would want to use it, but I'm just, I'm just really, in this video, I'm going to talk about my theory about why we really, really use drugs and alcohol. And my theory is, and I'm going to tell it to you right now, is that it's our way of achieving oneness. It's our way of achieving those higher level of emotions. And I'm going to talk about the emotional scale right here in a few seconds. And that that's what drugs and alcohol really are. They're a way of achieving that oneness, that consciousness. Okay, we could say that oneness with God, you know, whatever you perceive as God being for you. In that, in those fleeting moments of when we're inebriated or when we're high, we, we feel those emotions of love, joy, and peace. We feel that oneness with reality, with oneness with all those people around us. And that's, it's like a cardinal call of every human soul, of every human being, is that we want to have oneness. We want to feel that oneness with reality and let go of judgment, let go of, you know, anger, fear, guilt, apathy, shame, desire, pride. We want to let go of all that for a moment and just feel the beauty and the joy of just being one with everything. And so that's, that's why I believe, you know, we really use drugs and alcohol or whether it's food or chocolate or whatever it is, it's for a moment. It's, it's really about suppressing those negative survival emotions and lifting us up to that collective oneness where we're one with, for a brief moment, for a few minutes or hours, we're one with everyone around us. We're one with ourselves. We're at peace with ourselves. So that's why people really, truly use drugs and alcohol. And the point is, is that if you can engage yourself in higher emotions like peace, joy, and love all the time on a conscious basis, if you can nurture your environment so it's more full of peace, full of love, and full of joy, if you can nurture your thoughts and your emotions so you dwell in the realm of peace, joy, and love, continually, you're going to have less and less need to use drugs and alcohol to bring you up there. So, so this is what it's really about. It's about suppressing, you know, drugs and alcohol are really about suppressing these negative emotions. And I'm talking about this emotional scale for a second here, which I talked about in some other videos, is where, you know, when we, we experience shame and hate, you know, these are really, if we could look at this emotional hierarchy, this would be the worst, would be shame and hate. Then we move up to guilt an apathy, grief, fear, and then up to desire, anger, and pride. And then higher above this is where we reach these really, sometimes, you know, for most of us, fleeting emotions of peace, joy, and love. And ideally, this is where we want to be. This is exactly where we want to be is peace, joy, and love. So what drugs and alcohol do for us is they, they suppress all these for a brief period of time. So that time when you're stoned, that time when you're, you're drugged, when you're, you know, when you're off your face, that time when you're just drinking that red wine, laxing out, watching the TV, is it's suppressing all the, the issues of the day, all these negative emotions or survival emotions for a brief period of time and then getting you to dwell in peace, joy and love and that oneness, that oneness of being, which is pretty awesome. So <clears throat> I guess the message of this whole video, if there is a point, is that the more you can actively cultivate peace, joy and love in your life, um, through your rituals, through your daily habits, through the things you do every day, whether you exercise a lot, whether you continue to make an effort to meditate or pray, um, write affirmations, whatever it is, to keep yourself in peace, joy, and love. That is going to keep your focus there. It's going to neutralize these more effectively. These You're not going to have time or space for these negative emotions. And you're going to have less and less need for drugs and alcohol. Because, you know, what happens is when people try to quit drugs, try to quit alcohol, they don't go and deal with this kind of, these kind of heavy duty emotions which they experience on a day-to-day -day basis. And what happens is, if they don't develop strategies in order to stay in these higher emotions like peace, like joy, like love, they're going to be pulled, they're gonna need the um, drugs and alcohol to pull them back, you know, to be a way to pull them out of these horrible, horrible emotions. Because everyone's, you know, it's, it's pretty hard for a human being to go through life without any kind of baggage. Um, so this is what this is about, you know, that's why we people use drugs and alcohol. 
it's to shift from these emotions up to here. But there will get a, get to a point in your life where you don't need drugs and alcohol, where you can just live in peace, joy, and love pretty much all day, every day. And you won't need a stimulant. You won't need food. You won't need chocolate. You won't need alcohol. You won't need weed. You won't need heroin, cocaine to shift you up to these levels of emotions. And that's what happens with, you know, maybe a lot of celebrities. They, um, they, they get stuck down in here, you know, and they're used to all this. Oh, everyone loves me. I'm a great celebrity and everything. And they get pulled down into these emotions. And the only way out is through drugs and alcohol. And that's why so many of them go into rehab. Okay, I'm just speculating. But yeah, so that's the message is, again, drive yourself to these emotions of peace, joy. What would it take for me to have more peace in my life, in my relationships, in my home? What would it take for me to bring more joy into my life, into my home, into my relationships? What would it take for me to bring more love into my joy? in my life and my relationships. If your work is a place of this, if your work is continually driving you to these kind of emotions, you know, no, no wonder so many people hate their jobs and when they get, and drugs and alcohol, they're only escape from their jobs. So what, what could you do to create a job which gives you peace, joy and love every single day where you actually love what you do, you love your customers, you love your clients, you love business. Um, what could you do to create your work environment to be filled with peace, joy and love? Could it be that you, that you, you know, put a big poster of joy on the wall, love on the wall, you know, really inspiring um, pictures um, in the work environment. What, what could it be that, you know, maybe you could have a meeting with your coworkers and say, you know, I really love what you did today with that report. You know, I'm really thankful and I'm really, you know, I'm really happy with how you're working as a team member. That, that brings peace, joy and love to your work environment. And it minimizes these kind of horrible, horrible emotions which can be in a work environment. So yeah, that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. This is Roger. And um, yeah, first Facebook Live on this main profile. Have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. I guess the message is more peace, joy, and love in your life will really reduce the need for drugs and alcohol to get. So get yourself on those natural highs. Take care.